One of the best tools out there for creating awesome videos in a very quick amount of time is Powtoon. It kind of gives you the ease of creating a slideshow with all of the elements that make an engaging video. Uh, so you can get out to Powtoon by creating it in Drive, New, More, and then scroll and find Powtoon. If you don't have it here, you can just click on Connect More Apps and find it in there. Uh, so I always suggest build things from scratch. So I'm just going to click the Start from Scratch and click Edit. There are a lot of templates, but I encourage you to start from scratch and build your own, uh, mainly because you're going to have a lot more control over the process and you won't have so much extra stuff to delete. A big thing of this is you want to make sure that what you put into your project is going to match your theme. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have hearts in there for Valentine's Day when you're talking about wind energy. That, I mean, you might really love wind energy, but I doubt it's going to be your Valentine this year. So keep those things in mind as you create your first Powtoon. So once it loads, there's a few important things to note. I'm going to actually trash this and just start fresh with a new slide. So on Powtoon, you can do a few different things. Uh, try not to get too confused by what's out here, uh, but we're going to just start with the basics and move on from there. So up top, this is the name of your Powtoon. I'm just going to call it Energy One. And then you notice that it kind of saved automatically there, but if you want to double check, you can just click Save. On the top right here, this is your theme. This is going to affect the type of objects you can choose. So like as far as my library. Hold on, I should switch my timeline on. Um, then I have my library here. And I can pull these characters out. These are going to change depending on what I select up here as my style. A lot of people like the Stick figures, so I'm going to go ahead and use that style. Notice how I got this little pop up use Powtoon in seven clicks. Uh, if you're stuck, you can go ahead and give that a look. That's pretty good and it goes fast. All right, so now I've got these people out, and you can just simply click and drag them out onto your stage. And you'll see how down this timeline, this dark blue shows how much they are on the timeline. So this is a 10 second timeline. He's going to appear at one second and stay until the end. We can choose to have him leave earlier. And these buttons here also impact when he comes in, how that looks. So we can have him go come in by the hand and leave a different way. And then you can test over here by pressing play. So we moved him out with the hand. He's going to stay there and wave awkwardly for a little while. You can see down here where he goes, um, where he starts. And that's that. So other things you can put in, you can change the background. You can either do color. There's some different stylized backgrounds or animated backgrounds even. That'll move around as you play. Uh, probably in the final cut of the video, just so that they save on processing power. And then you have your text, which you can drag out. Once again, I cannot reiterate this enough sparingly. It's OK if you have more slides, because this is going to play like a video. But make sure it's impactful text only on each slide. You do not want to write an essay on each slide. Uh, for this type of project, graphs might be really important. So you can import a bunch of different kinds of graphs. So I'm going to do uh, just do a simple pie chart here. And you can actually go in and edit this. And you can change this information in the table. So maybe it's a graph about amount of um, wind farms in the US over the course of years. You can put that information in, uh, and you can take a look at what that looks like. Um, although a bar chart might work a little better for that than a pie chart. Uh, if you have a music file, you can pull one up. Well, there are also soundtracks in here. And you can also import different images to do different things. So once you are all set and done, then you're going to go up to export on the top here. And then for this, 
you're going to export to my Powtoons. And then it's going to ask for some details and quality, etc. I'm not going to change too much in this area. And then next, quality. I'm just going to go standard because guess what? Everything else is premium. And then I'm going to export my Powtoon. And so now it's going to export. And now this, this is the link to my Powtoon. That's how I can share it. You can also see over here where you can grab the link. That just copies it to your clipboard so you can paste it somewhere else. Then it'll load. And then once it loads, you can play it. Like so. And there's not a whole lot to look at, but there it is. Created using Powtoon. And that's Powtoon.